I'm a religious man, thus I consider this smile holy. Well, I've been doing um, some comparisons here, and um, I've been doing some calculations, and I was trying to size up um, the bare bones um, on the Xbox One and PS4 GPUs, and I came upon some interesting discoveries. I'm not bringing in the additional details about the modifications of each GPU. I'm just bringing up the bare bones specs for comparison. So, let's start with the Xbox One GPU. Uh, we now know that basically the Xbox One GPU is 800 megahertz with 12 compute units. Um, that's basically 768 streaming processors total, 64 streaming processors uh, per compute unit, dual instruction. That brings us to a total of 1.228 teraflops. Now, the closest we can compare that to is the Radeon HD 77 70 gigahertz edition which is at 1 gigahertz with 10 compute units two less than the xbox one chip with a slightly higher floating point performance of 1.280 teraflops that's interesting now without like I said, without taking any of the extra info in, bare bones, the PS4's GPU is still more powerful. It's still 800 megahertz, but it has 18 compute units. That's 1,152 streaming processors total. Dual instruction, that brings up to a total of 1.843 teraflops. Now, people usually want to compare this to an HD Radeon 7850, which is at 860 um, megahertz with a total of 16 compute units. That's uh, a total of um, 1,024 streaming processors. That brings us to a total of 1.761 teraflops. But yesterday, I came upon a big discovery that brought forth a very scary comparison, if you really think about it. Rather ironic, too. A mobile GPU. The Radeon 7950M. At 700 megahertz, it has 20 compute units, two more than the PS4 GPU. That's a total of 1,280 streaming processors. This gets out a strikingly close floating point performance of 1.792 teraflops. To think that the PS4 can be compared to a laptop GPU, well, both consoles to be comparable to the power of GPUs on laptops, which will soon be outclassed later this year. It gives you a lot to think about for what you're investing.